old grave digger. An old black man. And he's got a little shack that he calls Gibbs Place. And ever since 1951, if I'm not mistaken, he set up this little shack in the back where he lives. And he'd go out on a Saturday night and he'd say a little prayer and he'd crack a jar of moonshine and the party would begin. Gip plays a bit of that easy, slow style hill country blues. But when he was a young man, he got beat up by the Ku Klux Klan and they busted him up pretty bad and he lost a lot of his playing skills. He was quite upset about that. So he just spends his Saturday nights playing for family and friends out in this little shack Gibbs place. He's the coolest guy. Check him out on the internet. Gip Gibson. He's quite famous now for this little shack because all the greats of the blues that would travel through Alabama would stop in and jam a little bit at Gibbs Place late in the night after they finished their shows. And it became quite a famous hot spot for Saturday night in Alabama. All the greats, I could just see them getting up and doing a little jamming and then drinking a little moonshine with old Gip. So I got to do a show for Gip. It was the first week of January some years ago, his birthday week. And he'd been trying to get me to come and play at his place forever, but I was playing another late night place whenever I was up in that area. He'd always come in and say, Ken, come on, play my place. I said, well, Gip, I start at midnight here and I finish at eight o'clock in the morning. If you're still open, I'll come by, but usually everyone's drifted off by that time. He said, well, if you ever get the chance, I'd love to hear some of that old style blues. So I did, I had the opportunity and I went out, got there early, there was Gip. I could see his little shack, Gip's place down there, down at the bottom of the hill, a little house at the top, and a little trailer. Gip came out of that trailer as I pulled in. I said, Gip, oh, it's so nice to be here. Thanks for having me. He said, boy, I can't wait to hear some of that old style blues. I said, I'm looking forward to it, Gip. Now, what's going on with this trailer? Is that like the uh, dressing room or the green room? He said, well, Kent, I'm living in that trailer. I said, okay, well, what's going on with the house here? Is that your house? He said, yeah. I said, well, why don't you live in the house, Gip? He says, oh, Kent, it's all beat up and trashed. It really needs a whole bunch of work, and I just don't feel like fixing it up. I said, well, okay, Gip. Maybe we could get the Blue Society together. We could throw in some money and some labor, and we could fix it all up for you real nice. What do you think? He says, boy, we don't want to do that. I said, okay, well, why, don't, why don't we want to do that, Gip? He said, Ken, if I fix that house up real nice, my wife will come back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I never met his wife, but I took Gip for his word. He's a sweet old guy, you'd love him. So when you come for that visit Saturday night, we'll jump in the the motor home, we'll, we'll make a run up to Gibbs Place. It's only a couple hundred miles up the road. So I played all night for old Gip. I jammed with him a little bit early in the evening, and then it got real late in the evening, like four or five o'clock in the morning. Gip's still sitting in the back, sucking on his moonshine, celebrating his birthday, a few family and friends. And I played this next song, which I consider to be the greatest blues song of all time. And these two big black guys walked up to the stage. They said, boy, we got to talk to you. I said, well, what's up? Is it quitting time? He said, boy, you made Mr. Gip cry. I said, is he going to be all right? Boy, you made Mr. Gip cry. I said, well, is he going to be all right? I mean... I made him cry? Yeah, boy, you made Mr. Gibb cry. 
I was getting a little nervous at that point. I said, well, I'm just playing it how I feel. Boy, you just don't understand. You made Mr. Gip cry. He wants you to come back and play every Saturday night. He just loves that old style of blues. So in honor of old Gip Gibson, he's 90-something years old, so you better come sooner than later. Because you'll never find another spot like Gip's place. Let's sing this one together. singing this one. <laughs> now I'm all alone at midnight. Honey, and my lap is burning low. Well, I ain't had nothing but trouble in my life before. Near 